So we're going to talk about the invert thick principle. This is the principle upon which Goldman applanation tonometry works. We have an eyeball here with a given pressure and we are going to pretend like this is our applanation tonometer and this size right here, the bottom of the applanation tonometer is 3.06 millimeters in real life on the Goldman tonometer. That's what it is. This of course isn't 3.06 millimeters. But the invert fit principle says that if the pressure is low inside the eye, it won't require very much weight to flatten the cornea 3.06 millimeters. But if the pressure inside the eye is very high, it's going to require a lot more weight to flatten the cornea 3.06 millimeters. All right, so I have an eyeball with a given pressure. And what I'm going to ask my assistant Lori to do is she's going to be the tonometer. And Lori, I would like for you, and I'm just going to hold the eyeball like this, I would like for you to place the bottom of your tonometer on the cornea just enough, put just enough weight to flatten the cornea this amount. No more weight than that. Okay. All right, so on a scale of 0 to 10, 0 being no weight at all, 10 being the most weight you would have been able to put on there, how much weight would you say that you put on the cornea? 2. A 2 on a scale of 0 to 10. Okay, so not much weight at all. Now, I'm going to artificially inflate the pressure inside this eye by squeezing it. And then we're going to have Lori do that again, and we're going to have her estimate how much weight it took her to flatten the cornea that amount. So, okay. All right, Lori, so go ahead. So how much weight would you say that took? Eight. An eight on a scale of zero to 10. So you can see that if the pressure is very high inside the eye, it requires a lot more weight to flatten the cornea, 3.06 millimeters. But if the eye has a very low pressure, it won't require much weight at all to do that. That's the Ember Fit Principle.